A Chapter 9, Cerithelion, Below the Sands In a dark space with the harmonic humming of graceful machines, bronze silhouettes and lines of golden light stretched across the horizon. Sedson was sitting down with his new giant silvery friend. He was resting against her large thigh. Her skin was soft like silk. Linnea had to get back to her work. She mounted her bike and drove off. Not even a farewell. A Cyrethelion was there, a guardian of the cosmos. The Cyrethelion sat there with him for a good minute or two. He looked up. He could barely see her face due to her looming chest. He thought to himself, Is she a mother? Why are they so large and so round? It's as if there is an invisible bra. The rest of her physique argued otherwise. Her stomach was flat and her limbs had clear signs of strong musculature, albeit smooth and flowing. The Cyrethelion spoke. I know that you have been trying for a very long time. Tig is a beautiful mother. She is the god of the gardens, the evergreen and the immortal. Reaching out to her due to the simple urges of a man is dangerous. She crouched down over Sedson. Fierce blue eyes stared at him. The heavenly ears clawed up even higher. They were looking like horns of flaming ice. Not a single wrinkle was seen in her face. She stared down on him with the strength of a hundred thousand years of experience, shining like a sharp, needle-like torch in the void that was her alien expression. I am a man, not a child. My needs of said comfort is something you understand, do you not? Sedson said, not batting an eye. I will touch the supple breast of Tig to know if they really are true to her words as mother. The Cerithelion reared its head. I see. So it is not out of sexual frustration. Now you get it. When I die, I want to caress the bed that will be my eternal resting place. He said. The Cerithelion went silent for a moment. Do you seek death? Sedson stood up and clanked away. I just like busty ladies, you dense Thilian. I already know that it's impossible for me to impregnate your alien bodies. The Cerithelion stood on all her four. If you really need it, you can just stroke one. Sedson looked back at the booing giant. He said, further down. <laughs> she pressed her great chest against the bronze road. Further! Now she was placing her chin down against the road and looked up at Sedson. He slowly walked forward, and then he gently patted her on the head. Good girl. The Cerithelion could not comprehend what was happening right now. Sedson sat down in front of her, crossing his legs. He looked deep into those pure blue angelic eyes. The Cyrethelion felt some kind of presence from him, like something inside her was missing. Sedson spoke with a stone-cold expression. If Tig is your mother, where is your father? The Cerithelion stared blank into the distance. <laughs> what is a father? Sedson stood up again. Are you kidding me right now? Sedson looked down at the still-bowing Cerithelion. She said, uh, no, are you a father? Sedson rubbed his eyes. Now I understand why Thilians are so dangerous. You're completely oblivious, oddly attractive aliens that swallow men whole. I was not even thinking of devouring you, she said. God, it's like I'm talking to a wall. Sedson stomped to the ground. Hey, idiot, a loud voice said. A man came out of a tank that was driving on the road. Just smother your face in her breasts or splurt some semen on her nose. Thillians, don't give a damn about your petty urges. What the hell are you doing? Making a giant Cerithelion bow down like that in the middle of the road for anyway. Are you taming her or something? Sedson was a loss for words. Yes, feeling stupid now. Get her off the road and please grow a spine. This is embarrassing to us Agrians. The man walked back into his tank and blasted its horn. The Cerithelion stood up and stepped aside. The tank drove past and continued down the infinite road. Sedson could be seen sitting on the railing, twiddling his thumbs. The Cerithelion was still clueless as to what is going on. She did not want to leave him. She wanted to help him somehow.